Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to do a review of the Super Jenny as promised. And uh, first of all, here is the box that the Super Jenny comes in. Um, I'm going to do a quick spin around, but here is their website and I will also leave it in the description below. They're on several different other social media, so you can search for them under Super Jenny. Um, they do, or, or they just started to sell on Amazon, but I would suggest going straight to their website. Um, they do have to pay fees for the Amazon site, so sometimes the cost might be a little bit different. Um, but when I purchased it from their website before they were on the Amazon site, it was only $19.95. And shipping for me uh, was $4. So that was a really uh, inexpensive, affordable price, um, especially for a cheapskate like me. But they um, do offer these cups in a, a, a single or in a two set. Um, like I said, the single was uh, $18.95 and the two set is $32.95. So I have a size one, uh, excuse me, a size two with me here today. Um, they only offer a size two at this time. They are um, trying to launch a size one and I don't have a date on when that's going to be out yet. Uh, but I am definitely going to get a size two. Uh, Oh my goodness, a size one when it is launched. Uh, here is a little pouch that it comes with, a drawstring pouch. And when I first did my unboxing of this video, somebody mentioned that they wished that they had a superhero um, pattern on their bag. And I kind of wish that too now that she had mentioned it. Uh, but I, I can't complain. It's not about the bag for me, it's about the actual cup itself. And here it is. Um, I was so excited to get this cup and I have only um, contacted one other menstrual cup company um, about how pleased I was uh, with their design and whatnot about their cup and so I just want to share that with you that I did contact this company because I was so pleased with the cup itself. Uh, the Super Jenny Company did give me some great information and notes um, that I'm going to share with you during the duration of this video. They also included a picture which I will share with you and they gave me permission to use all of this. Um, so thank you very much uh, to the Super Jenny Company for sharing all that information with all of us. This cup is made out of 100% medical grade silicone and they used FDA approved materials. Um, they did SGS testing to make sure that the cup is 100% safe and safety is guaranteed. The Super Jenny only comes in this uh, color, if you will, of a cup. Um, it's not quite as clear as, say, the Juju cup and it's not quite as opaque as the the um, Diva cup here. Uh, this cup measures well according to the website the Super Jenny website it measures 52 milliliters high but because you have to uh, include a little bit of that seam inside of there uh, I'm just gonna measure right above that and that puts me at uh, 55 millimeters and that is uh, closer to two and a quarter inches so you're looking at these white lines on uh, this um, micrometer sorry I think that's what it's called anyhow um, and according to the website it holds 41.61 milliliters or one and uh, four one ounces and my fellow vlogger Kaspan, um I hope I'm pronouncing her name right uh, she did a measurement or capacity capacity measuring with a um, syringe and I'm going to leave her video in the description below but she states that um, the Super Jenny holds 
35 milliliters to right underneath the air holes and I know some people measure to just the air holes so I wanted to include that um, and the the full capacity to the very top of the rim is 41.61 so please note that if you are um, you know doing a me measurement on your own that the the 41.61 milliliters is to the very top of that rim so starting with the stem they wanted to keep it short and flexible and they achieved that very nicely you can see that I'm able to wiggle this in any position um, or any direction and I don't have any resistance um, some stems only move in one direction but the other way uh, it it's too firm to so this is a really nice stem nice and squishy and I'll squish the ball at the tip for you here and you can see that so it, it really aids to being comfortable um, there are five grip rings on here but when you're stretching the stem they kind of disappear into the silicone so they don't really lend a big hand in um, gripping uh, that's just my personal findings um, and if honestly if I could I would probably get rid of the the stem here and put the ball right on the cup but um, the, the stem didn't bother me at all I left it intact and I've been using it um, in fact I removed this cup for all of you to do a review and I'll be reinserting it as soon as this video is done um, but like I said this stem doesn't give me problems one bit um, it was just a personal preference that I'd probably want to get rid of this but would like to keep the ball at the tip uh, the stem is nice and stretchy just enough stretch there to be able to get your cup to move just a bit down so that you can reach these other grip rings I know that I kind of complained a bit about some of the other stems where they you know continue to stretch a mile outside of your body and your cup is still in the same position but it's not so with this cup good um, good stretchiness and it has that resistance right about there I do want to mention that the um, the seal on the inside where the um, cup meets the stem that that seal in there is quite high so if you do end up cutting that whole stem off leave a little nub on it I would probably only cut up into that um, bottom grip ring right there um, because as you can see with my pen there um, that is where the seam ends so um, if you cut you know trying to make your cup flush on the very bottom you're going to cut into the actual cup itself and and then your cup is going to be no good so do leave a little bit of nub here when you are trimming that stem the stars and stripes design here around the bottom of the cup by the stem uh, acts for the grip rings and uh, they're not raised a whole bunch but it still gives a really good hand in um, gripping onto it when you're removing your cup so I'll go ahead and do a close-up of it and you can see that they're not raised a whole bunch and I'll do a little bit of sound for you there not a whole bunch but they did um, also state that when they um, put their logos, the stars, the patterns, the words, the numbers, the measuring lines, everything, everything that's on here, they wanted to keep it extremely low rise and they rounded off the edges so that blood wouldn't get trapped into them easily and it makes it easier to clean. They also um, did that and wanted to keep it a smooth design so that people that were sensitive didn't feel all of these little um, edges, nooks and crannies so they're all rounded off nicely and they included actually a photo a close-up photo of um, one of the stars um, to show where they wanted it all rounded off and I'll go ahead and leave that here 
um, since they were kind enough to include that and gave me permission to show it in the video to all of you. So they mentioned that the Stars and Stripes not only represented the Super Jenny slash superhero theme, but it also represents how proud they are of their country, the USA, that they wanted to include it in their cup design. The silicone is fairly smooth, however it does have that um, peach skin type of finish where if I press my fingers on it, pinch it, and pull apart, my fingers don't slide off of that cup as it does with some of those slicker silicones. Um, and let's see, I have the Diva cup here, and I'll just go ahead and demonstrate. See how my fingers, I'm doing the same thing, put, applying the same amount of pressure, but my fingers just slide off of that cup, and that's not um, the same as the Super Jenny. So it has a good amount of grip even without the grip rings. Your fingers shouldn't slide off of that um, really easy when it's wet. So um, there were seams that you can barely barely see. Um, there was one here. I don't think that you can see it but I'm gonna try there is a, a line right here and the other side as well there there's a very faint line but they wanted to finish those off real smooth and they did they did a great job um, I could barely see them I really had to look for them um, and I can't feel them one bit one bit um, so they finished those off really really nice and they also had a seam up here and um, I really had to look for it and I, I doubt that I'll be able to get it to show on camera for you. That's how nice of a job they did um, on brushing away those, I, I, I would imagine they used um, some type of spinning buffer um, to get rid of those but it, it's such a nice finish that uh, people that are sensitive to all of those little seams are not going to have to worry about that. And again, all the rest of their um, designs on this cup are rounded off, so those hopefully should not give you any problems with sensitivity. I'm just going to do a walkthrough of all the designs that they have on this cup. And here is their Super Jenny logo with their cup and wings at the top and again uh, you've already seen the the stripes and stars and stripes at the bottom there uh, they have the um, measurements and this is on the inside of the cup 15 milliliters is what this top line says which is a half an ounce so you have a lot of room before you hit that suction release hole and right here it says made in the USA this is on the outside and on this side it's on the inside again uh, the measurements measurement lines for a quarter ounce and a half an ounce If you've seen my other videos, I talk about this secondary rim, and um, let me get a cup that has one real quick, just in case you don't know what I'm talking about. Ooh, my box is right behind my tablet, so I kind of shifted it. So here is what I would consider or call the secondary rim, and it's a little more firm from this um, area here than it is to the bottom of the cup. So as you travel up to the rim, the top rim of the cup, this area is a little more firm and it helps in getting a cup to open. So the Super Jenny, you don't see this secondary rim, but it has that, it has kind of like an invisible secondary rim, if you will, where I can feel just by going like this that it does get a little more thick 
um, as you travel up to the the top rim here and that area is right about underneath their um, logo so from this point here to to right underneath the top rim is a little more thick than the bottom of the cup itself so there is a little bit more resistance when you get to a, right about here it starts to get a little more firm so they do have an invisible uh, secondary rim and then their top rim right here on the top uh, now their top rim is nicely molded and it's rounded off up here so there's no hard edge uh, and then they have four suction release holes that are evenly spaced around the cup and they're quite large holes and you can see right through that one and I received mine and all of them were punched through nicely or molded through nicely I didn't have to snip away any excess so that was great for me so they stated to me that they ran a user test group to decide which softness of the cup they wanted to make before they launched it and this softness was um, claimed by the users to be the most comfortable one it's soft but it has a nice springy resistance to it oh, did I have my cup off of the camera this whole time I was kinda looking at my notes here on the side to <laughs> at my laptop um, but it is a, a little bit softer than some of my other cups and usually I don't care for soft cups but I really did uh, really did genuinely like this cup um, and I did do videos of the the softness firmness comparing the Super Jenny to um, the other cups that I do or I did have on hand at that moment um, so I did the bottom of the cup down here and then I also did the rim um, and I'll include that in at the end of this video so if you're interested in watching that you can hopefully I cover um, a cup that you might have already on hand so that you can gauge the um, the softness or firmness of this cup my personal experience with the Super Jenny cup uh, when I first received the cup I didn't have my period so I tried it on a dry run and I usually go to the punch down fold which is the fold that I normally was using with a firmer cup but I it doesn't matter what cup I get if it's firm or soft when I first get it I always try the punch down fold um, and I tried it with the Super Jenny and I'm not applying a whole bunch of pressure here but you can see that it just doesn't want to pop open and that's because the back of the cup is softer uh, so that then I had to go to um, my other go-to uh, fold for soft cups which is just the simple U fold or C fold and I do this because when I insert my cup and I have to only insert the softer cups halfway um, or the rim won't pop open my muscles um, uh, pass a little bit more is it holds it from actually popping open open so I can only insert the cup halfway and what I do is I insert a finger along with that um, and I kind of push it down just like this and it helps that cup to open it also ends up spinning my cup uh, when you know when it's inserted inside of you you don't have a whole bunch of room so when I push down it kind of spins my cup at the same time so <clears throat> when after after it pops open then I just use that finger that's inserted to push from right underneath the rim um, in all directions and make sure that the cup gets into the position it needs to be I also feel when I'm doing that feel that my cervix is inside of the cup or surrounded by the rim of the cup there so when I was doing the dry run um, I had a little indent right here but I felt that the rim was completely open so I just didn't you know I didn't even pay attention to it I knew that um, it would I was I was confident that it would uh, catch anything although it was a dry run um, catch anything so I didn't pay attention to that I felt uh, the air come in when I did uh, have it open up um, so I knew I, I could actually hear the air I knew I could hear the air this time usually I say I don't know if it's in my head or if I could actually hear something 
but this time I actually heard the air rush in and my cup opened and then I had that little dent but again I didn't pay attention to it um, I felt comfortable so I tucked this stem behind my pelvic bone and I stood up and I couldn't feel it one bit uh, it was very comfortable um, during the course of the day I felt the the stem just a bit when I sat down but it didn't bother me because it's so flexible um, and so I just I just went on with my day and then I took it out that night and left it out uh, I didn't need to use it so I just wanted a little test run so um, I did finally get to test this cup out um, in fact I only and I mentioned this already but I I removed this cup this morning just so that I could do this review and had to use another cup um, so after this video is done I'll be reinserting this cup because I loved it so much um, but so uh, I found that I can do the punch down fold it I don't I don't know it is weird I was in the shower and I just just went to the punch down fold but instead of tucking it in as I do with the more firm cups like you can see that it's totally um, wedged down in there and I s you know smash it quite a bit when I insert a firmer cup but with the Super Jenny I did this really loose sort of fold and you can see that it's still kind of um, kind of bulbous not bulbous but puffed out uh, a bit and I was able to insert it that way and then I pushed down here and it did open up for me so sometimes you know I just kind of sometimes I use the punch down fold sometimes I use the the U or C fold I, I don't think about it so it's just like okay well I'm ch I gotta change my cup and I'll just do like this that day and I, and I don't think about oh yeah I have to use the the U fold to do this cup um, so I could do it both ways, but when I do a punch down fold, it can't be a very tight um, hold on it. So um, my daughter didn't have any problems doing it with the punch down fold, and she just does it regularly. Um, but she hasn't had children, and I and she did say her cervix was high. So, um, but I. I used it for a few days, a couple days, and then Friday I emptied it at night, and Saturday morning I was running late for a, a meeting for my son, and so I totally forgot to empty my cup. And we ran around doing school shopping and whatnot. Uh, my son's first day back to school was today so um, this is the first time I got to be alone in the house for more than a couple hours uh, but um, we were so busy that day that I totally forgot about my period and that I had a menstrual cup that I needed to empty so we didn't get home till late that night and I probably didn't jump into the shower until about 1 30 2 o'clock and that's when I remembered that I had this cup in so I um, I squatted down in the shower and I, I pulled down on it and uh, removed it and I spilled a little bit of blood and when I stood up with my cup in my hand the my blood level was still right underneath those suction release holes so if I hadn't spilled any blood it probably probably would have been to the full capacity yet I didn't leak one bit all day. It, the blood didn't come out the holes. I had no no indication that it was full. Um, it, I guess that could be a good thing, but it could also be a bad thing. I normally get this gurgling, burping feeling from the inside, and I know that that's when I need to empty my cup. But I didn't get any of those feelings with this cup. So I, I guess that's good. But then bad if I just continued to use the cup, it would have probably leaked. Um, but it just goes to show that this was so comfortable that I didn't feel it. I totally forgot about it. And I didn't leak one bit. Um, and I used it to its full capacity. So this is a great, great cup for people with a very heavy, um, heavy flow. 
and that was the third day on my period, so um, I was still in my heavy area there. Um, but it would be great, a great cup if you travel. Um, if you're sitting on a plane, and I travel here and there, um, normally just back to Hawaii, which is either five to six hours along, be, um, depending on tailwinds. Um, so this is a good cup to have for me during those times. Uh, when I'm in Hawaii, if I have my period and I go to the beach, uh, usually we stay at the beach for a long, <clears throat> excuse me, a long period of time. Um, and there's so many family things going on that, you know, I just totally could forget about my period uh, using this cup. It would also be great for like camping, and I mentioned this in one of the Facebook um, forums or Facebook groups. Um, it would be great for camping, and a lot of people in Washington, where I live now, uh, go camping. And my daughter usually always gets her period when we're camping, and she's had to use porta potties, and that just sucks. Having your period sucks. Having your period while camping sucks even more. So this would probably be a great cup to use. Um, I know that most cup companies say to empty your cup at t the 12 hour mark, by the 12 hour mark, but you know, it's not going to kill you if you really can't get to a bathroom um, within those 12 hours uh, just once or twice or, you know, uh, just clean it out good when you when you can. Um, Unless you have a really heavy period and you, you're going to leak over, then yeah, of course. But um, it's not going to kill you if you, you have to use it for a couple hours more than intended. Um, just, just wash it good afterwards. Um, but this is an awesome cup. And it's bumped one of my favorites out of the running of my top three. Um, and has replaced it. So... It's an awesome, awesome cup. I really, really like it. I'm probably going to have to get another one because my daughter likes this cup so much that I'm not going to see it unless I ask for it again. Um, she she loves it. Um, and because it's that bell-shaped, I think it would be okay for people with low cervix. The smaller size, if you can wait and um, or hold out until they release that, um, it would definitely be fine, I think, I think, don't quote me, for you. Um, this, I, I do have a high cervix, and this is quite a, a large cup, so this might be a little bit too much for you. Um, I will compare it real quickly. I know I'm running long, and I said that I was trying not to, um, but I'll compare it to a couple of the more popular cups. Uh, I'll do the Diva Cup. And the Lunette Cup. And how about the Maluna Extra Large? Also, for those of you like me that, uh, you know, sometimes those things don't really give me a good visual, here is a standard size lip balm. And there you go. Hopefully I covered something, a question you might have had about the Super Jenny. Um, I'll probably do it, be doing more videos about the Super Jenny. Um, I, I don't know. I'm trying to think of what other videos I can put out about them because I really do like it. Um, I did do a comparison to the other cups that I have and I think I already mentioned that. Um, but I will leave it at the end of this video if you're interested in that. Uh, so if you have any comments or additional questions, you can leave them below or find me on Facebook and all my information is in the description as, lo as well as the Super Jenny website. Until next time, see you later. 
if you're interested in more menstrual cup information, cup versus cup comparisons, or personal reviews, please check out my channel, give my videos a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching.